Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. Good morning, and welcome back to my journey attempting to travel the length of Latvia on my unicycle on the Baltic Forest Trail. It is day seven, and last night I camped in one of these free camping places. I didn't sleep great last night, if I'm honest. I kept hearing these noises in the forest just over there. It was almost like kind of roaring. You know when you kind of work yourself up into like, your brain just doesn't switch off and just goes, well, what if? At one point it got quite loud. Anyway, that was my night. It's good fun out here. These are the socks I've been wearing all trip. I absolutely foul. Today, I'm gonna to replace them with these. Still pondering what could have been making those noises in the night. I packed up, collected some water from the river, and prepared the unicycle for the day ahead. I'm following the Amata River, which is really pretty. This trail just, just hugs it, basically. I've mainly been walking. There's been a couple of sections that have been rideable, but there's just so many routes out here. And then there's a lot of steps, and there's also sections where trees are falling over the paths. So it's all good fun. <laughs> Occasionally, I am still hearing those roars that I was hearing last night. Uh, it's difficult to really make it out because of the river, but sometimes it just comes through and I can hear it. I think what's making me a little bit nervous is the fact that I am literally alone. Like, I haven't seen anyone all day, not, not a soul, and I don't think I saw anyone since about five o'clock last night. It's strange, but I'm not, I guess I'm not that close to too many areas of population, so I guess that's what it is. But it would just make me feel better if I just saw one other person, you know. <laughs> Occasionally along this trail, I've been seeing beaver activity. Apparently it's the Eurasian beaver, but this one here, this sort of gnawed wood, doesn't look particularly fresh. I'm not really sure what time of year they're sort of out and about, but I suspect they, they are around. <laughs> I'm on a road for a little while, and I saw people. <laughs> Very, very briefly. Oh, I'm getting quite tired now. This is, yeah, day seven of the trip and I haven't stopped, but it's all good. I'm just entering a place called Scallops uh, and apparently there is a, an old secret Soviet bunker below ground here. Uh, there's also a museum. I've had a little research and it looks like they're only open at three o'clock, which is too late for me, but it's kind of cool. So I think we stick on this for a couple of kilometers and then we turn back off on a path through the woods. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do this? Coming into the outskirts of Ligatni now. 
That was a challenging last bit of wood. <laughs> There's so many trees here have fallen over the, the trail. It's just making it very, very slow going. I'm shattered, I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> Been going for a week. Um, I think I'm gonna have a little search around once I get into the center and see if I can find somewhere to, to stay for the night. Uh, not camping, like, like a hostel or something. Hello. Okay. Is this the reception for the hotel? Uh, there is one person uh, apart, apart the other room. Yeah. And you're staying for one night? Just one night, please, yeah. Yeah, that's all dude. It's 40 euros with breakfast included, which I think is, is a fair price. And they're gonna wash my clothes for me as well for five euros, because I've been wearing this top for seven days. Apart from looking at footage or myself in the camera, I haven't really looked at myself in the mirror. So, yeah, I actually don't look terrible. It had been a whole week since I really spent any time online, so I was keen to connect to their Wi-Fi and catch up on a bit of life admin. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm abroad and I initially connect to the internet, I get bombarded with emails suggesting that there's been some suspicious activity on my accounts. I then have to spend the next few minutes re-entering my details into various sites, reassuring these sites that yes, I am in fact aware that someone just tried to sign in from the middle of Latvia. But there is a way to prevent this hassle, and that's by using a VPN. And would you believe it? NordVPN is sponsoring this video. With over 5,000 servers available worldwide, NordVPN allows you to securely redirect your internet traffic through any one of them, and appear as though you're in that country. Now, you can of course use this to watch geo-restricted content that's not available in your region, but when I'm abroad, what I like to do is sign into a server back in the UK, and that way all the services I regularly use still think I'm at home and operate as normal. So, if you think NordVPN could be of use to you, please consider signing up using my link below. It supports the channel, and you'll receive four extra months on a two-year plan. Thank you, Nord. Now back to the video. So today I've basically arrived in Legatme and then I had a nap for about three hours. <laughs> so I've decided to come out again. It's about 7.30 just to go for a little wander around and just see what I can find. And I spotted this. It's like a kind of tunnel system, I think. Um, and I'm very tempted to just have a little poke in and, and see what's in there. I suspect these were storage at one time. Damn, it's freaky. How far back does this go? Oh, this is the end. Oh, I thought I might go a bit further. It's obviously very... Yeah, it's like sandstone, isn't it? Oh, look. Like storing a bunch of cold slaw and... <laughs> cabbage and pickles back there. Oh, that's wet. Nice. Oh, wow, this is a much bigger chamber. Yeah, I suspect these aren't anything particularly sinister. They're just storage tunnels. Yeah, this is super freaky. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing this alone. Okay, let's get out of here. I learned a couple of things while in Legatni. The first was that it wasn't pronounced Legatni at all, rather Ligatna. The second was that Ligatna was built around an old, now non-operational, paper mill. As paper production requires a lot of water, here on the bank of the river was the perfect location for it. As I wandered around the village, I spotted more storage tunnels dug into the stone. They're like little hobbit holes. I also admired the beautiful wooden homes that presumably were built to house workers of the old mill. As always, I've completely taken over this hotel room. I've got my, my sleeping bag 
just drying in the corner here. Uh, not that it was wet, it was just, you just you just get a little bit of condensation during the night, so it's good when you have an opportunity just to get out and try and air it. We've got charging corner here, all my devices charging up. And then over here on the bed, I've got my, my backing up station. So at the moment I'm copying files from an SD card, which is just in there onto this uh, portable drive here. That's what we've got going on. It's just good to use the space when you have it because I'm going to go out into the forest again tomorrow. Uh, but I'll be fully charged and fully clean and fully rested. Yeah, I feel, I feel good. This is a good stop. Before going to sleep, I did a little research into the roaring noises that I'd heard the night before. I came to the conclusion that as it was deer rutting season, the roars were almost certainly coming from horny stags. <coughs> Thank you for watching this video. I've got a new t-shirt design. It's some dude riding his unicycle in a Latvian forest. They're available in various different colors. I'll leave a link below if you want to support the channel and check those out. And if you'd like to see the next video in this series, uh, it's available right now on my Patreon. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.